A New Mexico State Police officer was shot this morning on I-25 after pulling over a car for speeding, but the officer fired back, killing the suspect. It happened near the lead coal exit in Albuquerque. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here with how the shooting unfolded. Jeannie. Madeline, a routine traffic stop turned into a deadly shooting, resulting in an investigation that partially closed the interstate for more than 12 hours. Approximately 2 a.m. this morning, one of our officers was involved in a traffic stop on I-25 southbound near the uh, uh, 242, or correction, the uh, 222-23 uh, mile marker. When a New Mexico State Police officer pulled over this blue Honda for speeding near the lead coal exit, he noticed the car's paperwork didn't match up. Officials say as the officer was speaking to the passenger of the car, that person lunged at the officer and a struggle ensued. The officer was shot in the leg and then shot back. During that altercation, a uh, shot was fired striking our officer. Our officer uh, fired his weapon and at that time the, uh, the suspect uh, died. Investigators were on scene for hours, well into the day, piecing together what led up to the deadly encounter. We know that right after the shooting, the officer was able to put a tourniquet on his leg, detain the driver of the car, and tried to help the passenger he shot. As State Police Deputy Chief Robert Esham described what happened, he said this incident serves as a reminder that any seemingly nonchalant traffic stop could be an officer's last. Never knowing what each traffic stop will bring this is this is definitely an eye opener for all of us and something none of us want to face in our careers, but we know that the danger is there. We're told the driver of the car is not facing any charges. State police have yet to identify the officer involved or the passenger who was shot and killed. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. Police say they found a 25 caliber handgun in the car. The shooting is still under investigation by the Albuquerque Metro Police Shooting Task Force.